Time now for your pop break. A big payday for coronavirus relief and a wedding surprise. Tiffany Haney has more. In case you missed it, this weekend's One World Together at Home concert raised almost $128 million for the World Health Organization by bringing together music's biggest names. I'm still standing at the office time. Smile, though your heart is breaking. It's been a I'm coming, but I know change's gonna come. Hosted by the Kings of Late Night, the money raised through donations and corporate partnerships will help support healthcare workers fighting the coronavirus pandemic. This is kind of hard to believe, but Zoom weddings are a thing now and are now officially legally recognized in the state of New York. Over in the UK, a nurse and her groom had their virtual wedding crashed in the best way possible by Ellie Golding. You're both heroes, and we all love you. Now the newlyweds are paying it for it and using all the attention on their big day to ask people to donate to the National Health Services Together Charities. John Krasinski's YouTube show, Some Good News, is really keeping the hits coming. At his virtual prom on Friday night, the Jonas Brothers rolled in with a surprise show. And while he's definitely no Matt Wentz, look who showed up to do the weather. Brad, how's it looking out there? Looks, uh, pretty good. All right. Thanks, Brad. Brad has done lots of funny weather bits for the Jim Jeffrey show on Comedy Central. And Jim said that apparently Brad would sometimes just shoot videos on his phone and text him to him in the middle of the night, Sarah. But I think that we can all agree Brad has nothing on Emmy and River. And he could probably use some tips from our Wentz on uh, getting to the specifics. You are absolutely right, Stephanie. I think that Matt has a few things he could teach Brad to, you know, brush up on his weather game. Thank you for that pop break.